Yes, I'm doing another lip product tag because I am a lipstick, lip gloss, lip balm junkie. So, yeah, I'm sure you're not surprised. <laughs> Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Yes, I am doing another lip product related tag and this one was started by Emilia Liana and Este from Essie Button. So, when I saw this tag and I saw there's only eight questions, so I said, why not? I love talking about lip products, so it makes sense for me to do this tag. So, let's stop talking and let's get started on the tag. I have a lot of favorite lip balms, but my favorite one at the moment is this one by a San Diego based company called Wild Violeta and it's their organic shea butter lip balm and this one is tangerine scented so I love citrusy scents and this scent is just amazing. It smells so good. <laughs> so the first time I tried this, I tried it actually on my haul and I did not like it because it's really hard since it's organic shea butter and you do have to warm it up with your fingers. I usually just do this method. I kind of scrape off a little bit and then apply it onto my lips and it's amazing. It really is. It moisturizes your lips and if you apply it overnight, like before you go to sleep, you wake up with like the softest lips ever. So I just really, really love this lip balm and I know I said it's a San Diego based company but you can purchase their items through Etsy so you can get them outside of the city, <laughs> outside of San Diego, so that's great. And they do have other scents like coffee, I think peppermint, and I forgot, they have a couple scents, but these are amazing. I also do love the Nukes uh, Red de Miel, but it's not as dry here right now. I mean, it is going to get pretty dry here in the summer, but once it gets really dry, then I'm going to have to start using it again because I don't want chapped lips. But this one is a keeper. <laughs> For best eye-catching red, I have two options and one's drugstore, one is a little bit more high-end. The high-end one is Max Lady Danger, which I'm sure all of you know by now. It is a lovely orange-based red, so it's a very warm red as you can see. I love this. It's a matte finish. It is a little bit drying, but that makes it cling on to your lips and last hours so I don't mind it as long as you wear like a lip balm underneath you're good another one of my favorite reds is this one this is the Rimmel show off lip lacquer or apocalypse depending on where you're from and the color is big bang if you want a really classic red lip like a cool toned like a blue based red this one is it <laughs> and I have the swatches right here so you can see this one lady danger is a lot warmer and this one just looks like a classic red so I really love these two and it, whenever I want like a really like statement red lip I'll reach for one of these two because these are just my go-to red products I really don't have any products that are considered like luxury products I haven't bought a Chanel lipstick or a Dior lipstick or YSL uh, no Tom Ford I mean no I have nothing that's like worth more than 30 bucks when it comes to lip products because I don't know they look so pretty but I can't I can't just shell out the money like 40 bucks on the lipstick it's just like it hurts so much <laughs> maybe I will one day but um as for now I look at the price tag and I'm just like oh man like I want you but I can't I can't. <laughs> I'd rather spend that money on a, an eyeshadow palette or, I don't know, foundation or skincare, but um, lipstick, I, I just can't do it at the moment. But I do have these two. I guess Lancome would be luxurious for my lipstick collection. I don't know. And this is a lip gloss that my brother actually got for me. <laughs> and it's so dumb. <laughs> Because he got this for me when he went to uh, Europe and uh, it was basically a last minute gift because he was supposed to get me something, I don't know, something that said London or I don't know, something touristy. <laughs> so he didn't find anything. He went to the duty free and he basically purchased last minute gifts for the whole family and I was just like, thank you, I can get this here too. <laughs> it was it was kind of funny but um... Yeah, I guess this Lancome lips, lipstick, lip gloss is the most luxurious thing I have and I don't even know the name because it doesn't even have the, the sticker anymore but it is really well loved. I don't know if you can tell but yeah, you can. It is well loved. So this is just a really nice kind of neutral 
pink. You can barely see it. So that's why I've worn it a lot because I can just get away with it whether I have a smoky eye or just keeping it really natural. So this one is my luxury product and for drugstore Brimo lipsticks. They're one of my favorites. And this one is 06 or no, 09. I always get it wrong. I think I don't even have dyslexia. I just read it wrong. I, I don't know. But <laughs> this one is kind of a deep fuchsia, which I really, really love. Looks like that. Bam! <laughs> so I just adore this lip color and this lipstick, it's the lasting finish, the Kate Moss line. Amazing. If you haven't tried a Rimmel lipstick, you need to go to Walmart, Target, or any drugstore and get yourself one of these because these are amazing. Best MAC lipstick is so easy for me. It is plumful. It is just one of the best colors. I have a blog post all about it because I just love it a lot and I did buy it because I read Estee's blog and she talks about it so many times and I was just like, I need to see what the fuss is all about and I bought it and I have not regretted it. It is just such a beautiful color. It is the perfect color. When you want to wear color but you don't want anything obnoxious, you reach for Plumful. So yeah, it's a really lovely rose shade. Another one which I've been loving and this one is a new lipstick. It is Spice It Up. It's the one I'm wearing right now. It is a muted red color and I know you're like, wait, muted red? Like how is that possible? But it is. It is possible. <laughs> so as you can see, this is Spice It Up, and it's not bright like these two. It kind of has a little bit more brown, so it makes it neutral and more wearable, and I've been loving it. I really think this is like the red version of Plumful, so both of these are really wearable. You can get away with it, whether you're wearing a really natural look or something more like smoky. Like These are colors that you don't even have to think about what you're going to wear in the rest of your face because... They're just so damn wearable. These are amazing and both of these are luster finishes so they're really comfortable on the lips. Around 2009-2010, I don't know if you remember, but Cargo used to be a line carried at Sephora and they had this really big collection of eco-friendly lipsticks and they had biodegradable boxes and all of that and they had celebrities like pick out their favorite shade of pink and that's what they would make into a lipstick. So they had Lindsay Lohan, Whitney Port from The Hills and other like celebrity re reality stars. I don't know. I think a portion of the money was donated to a cause. I don't remember, but all the lipsticks were basically pink. So I got the Lindsay Lohan one because I don't know. I think I just like the shade of pink and this one's Whitney Ports. It's called Eve Pinky. So as I said, these dry up super quickly. They just feel so uncomfortable on the lips. I mean, the color is just whatever. I mean, it looks kind of like little girl's first lipstick. <laughs> it's just like a Barbie pink, so obviously I don't like it anymore. I kind of like the packaging not so much because it's really cutesy, but overall, this lipstick is just a fail. Yeah, it, it was just a waste of money, so hmm. I can't be bothered with lip liner. Sometimes I'll do it, but most of the times I'm just like, eh, no. Mm -mm. No, thank you. I'm not the biggest fan of lip glosses, but I am a fan of liquid lip balms. And this one's the All May Liquid Lip Balm. This is the Maybelline Color Elixir. Both of them are really glossy, but they're not sticky, and I hate sticky glosses. <laughs> so that's why I love these, because they give me the nice shine without the stickiness, and both of them are really comfortable on the lips. They're kind of moisturizing, yeah. I mean, they're liquid lip balm, so that's why they're moisturizing. So I have two. This one's my newest one. This is from their Bleached Neons collection. It's called Radiant Raspberry, which is this one right here. This one's gorgeous. <laughs> and the other one, this one on top, this is the Ami Liquid Lip Balm in Pink Pout. So for something extra, I decided to show you three really weird lip products I have purchased. Two of them are glosses. One of them is by Taryn Tarantino and this one's called Tokyo Hardcore. And as you can see, it is a green gloss with green glitter. So it is kind of odd. I don't know why I picked it. I probably picked it because it's odd. <laughs> and it looks like this. So very reflective and you can't really see the green glitter much on the swatch, but you can on your lips. So yeah. <laughs> and the other one, as you saw, 
it's a black lip gloss so I obviously really like Lancome lip glosses after I tried this one and I wanted another one so it made sense to get a black one I don't know but I used to wear this a lot especially when I went to college and uh, yeah I I don't know <laughs> so this is a black lip gloss with silver glitter and it looks like this so it is a very vampy thing I used to kind of layer it a lot with lipstick so they will look even darker <laughs> so yeah yeah I can't really explain much because I just bought them because they were strange and the last lip product is this one by L'Oreal it is a studio secrets professional universal lip glow and I've never seen this in the US or in Mexico I haven't seen it either this one I bought when I was in Paris and the reason why I bought it is because it was just so freaking weird <laughs> so it looks like a it looks like a toy it really does it's completely clear and pink and it just looks like it should be a toy it doesn't look like an actual like lip product but it actually gives you a really nice like pink tint to your lips very comfortable so if you don't really want to wear like a lip gloss or a lipstick, you just apply this and you can't even see it on my hand. It's, I can't, this one right here. But on your lips, it just reacts with your like pH level or your warmthness. I don't know, but it gives you a really nice stain. <laughs> so it looks very natural and kind of effortless and I have worn this a lot. It used to be a lot taller, so... I really liked it, but it was very expensive. I think I paid around 14 euros, so that is around 17, 18 dollars. I'm not sure, but it was pretty pricey and I fell into the hype, but luckily I did like it. So that's it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I will be tagging some people down below, some people that I know they're lip product addicts too, so yeah. And I have a hand full of swatches that I need to wash off and it's probably gonna be stained but whatever it's okay <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't done so already there's a little annotation right here and also at the end of the video and yeah I think that's pretty much it I will see you guys very soon in my next video and I hope you're having a great day or night wherever you are I'll see you guys very soon bye <laughs>